everyone, welcome back to Wolfman Art. As always, I'm your host, Derek DeWolf, and today I wanted to do a spray paint art tutorial for beginners. People that are interested in this art style, but have never really done it, and want to know the beginning steps to getting into it. So, I thought I would do that. It's pretty simple, and today we're just going to do a basic black and white planet space scene. Just a moon. It's going to be really easy. If you follow my steps, then you will be happy with what you end up with. But you're going to need a few things. The first, the most important thing you're going to need whenever you do spray paint art, especially if you're painting somewhere like here where it's not really ventilated, and even if you're outside too, you're going to want this. You're going to want one of these. It's a respirator. You can get them at any hardware store. Uh, this one costs about, I think, 25 or 30 bucks. Not really too bad, and if you're gonna get spray painting, you're gonna want these. Spray paint puts out all kinds of chemicals and just bad fumes in the air. It will make you dizzy, and it will give you horrible headaches. It's not something you want to breathe in. So this is number one. You're gonna want one of these. Number two, you're going to need something to paint on. So we're going to use some of this. This is just poster board. Um, you can get this at anywhere pretty much. You can get it at grocery stores, hobby stores, art supply stores, Walmart, paper stores. It's pretty easy to find. It's relatively really cheap. This is a small piece. Usually they come in much bigger pieces and they only cost about 40 to 50 cents of paper. So it's not bad. The way you'll know that you have poster board is one side will be a shiny kind of finish and the other side will be more of a matte. Now this is a bad example because this paper, both sides are shiny. So, but once you get the actual paper, you will see that there is a shiny smooth side and there's a rough side. You want to paint on the shiny smooth side. Another thing you're gonna need you're going to need your paint. For today's, we're going to go very simple. We're going to go back to basics on this. All we're going to need is one can of black spray paint and one can of white. And these are the cheap stuff too. Don't go buy the most expensive stuff right now because you're just learning. Buy the cheap stuff. Honestly, this stuff works pretty good. I got this at the Family Dollar, but you can also get these at Walmart and any hardware store. It's just a cheap section. These cost about a dollar. Very inexpensive. And this is what you want to start out with. Trust me, once you get into this, you're going to want every color under the sun. <clears throat> Next, you're going to need a stencil to make your planet. I use this. This is just a lid off of a container. You can use all different kinds of things uh, to do stencils with, um, planet stencils, all kinds of things. As long as they have a nice flat edge, I don't know if you can see that. That's not like the flattest edge. You can also use a spray paint lid can. Spray paint can lid. Uh, it has a nice sharp edge on it. And these are really good for doing moons and stuff. And you can use all kinds of things. You know, go around your house, find something you don't use anymore. You can use a cup or a bowl or lids on jars. All kinds of things work. You're also going to need something to make your texture with. I'm using the most common method, which is just a basic plastic bag. But you could also use like a magazine sheet would work. You can either lay this down flat after you've applied the paint and get one texture off of it, or you can crumple it up and do another texture of it. You can also use newspapers. There's all different kinds of things you can use to make textures. I advise you to go out there and try something, see how it works. And I think that's just about everything. So let's get into this and I'll show you how to make a perfect planet. 
Okay, so let's get started. Now, for the purposes of filming this video, because I want you to understand me, I'm not going to be wearing my, my respirator. But still, as a number one, if you're going to be doing this, wear your respirator. I'm only doing this so that you can understand me when I speak, so I can show you how to do everything. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to find a spot for our stencil. Now, you can put this anywhere. You can put it on the corner. You can put like another one over here if you wanted. For this video, though, we're just going to put this right in the center right in the center of the paper. Now, always make sure you shake up your cans really good. Especially if you haven't used them for a little while or they're brand new, you're gonna wanna shake these up. So make sure they're good and shaken up. And then before you start painting, always test spray off to the side so that you make sure the nozzle is not clogged up, it's spraying good, you don't want to spray a bunch of blobs all over your painting. So always spray off to the side, make sure it's coming out good, and if it's not, you can fix it. So now that we have our stencil on our paper, we're just going to do a light mist around so we, can, so we know where this stencil is. So we're going to just do some light sprays, just like that, take our stencil off, and now you can see where our stencil is going to be. Now, to do this, we're going to do a basic moon, just black and white moon, and what you're going to want to do is you're going to gonna go your lightest colors first and your darker colors on top. It generally works a little bit pretty good, but you could also mix a little things, just try some stuff, that's generally what I like to do. So, we're going to go in with white first, and we're going to fill in this whole area. Okay, now we're going to take our black, and we're just going to do a few spots here and there. I'm going to lay a little bit more white on top. Then we're going to take our bag. I usually put my hands inside the bag and we're going to lay it on top. Now we don't need to just smash this down. Just lightly tap on it. Just a few light taps and pull it off. See, that got pretty good texture on there, but it's kind of hot out here, so it didn't take off as much as I want. So I'm going to add a little bit more. So I'm going to go in with a little bit more white. And a little bit more black. I'm going to do this one more time. And you could go on to it a few times depending on if you want to take more off or if you don't want to take off more. I wanted to do that a few more times to get a bit more texture and mixing of the colors. So I'm going to call that good right there. Now, a very important thing that I can tell anybody that's spray painting is give yourself time. All right? Trust me. The more patient you are with this, the better your product is going to come out. Um, for this stage right here, I will let this dry completely. Now granted, this spray paint doesn't take off too much time to dry. So in about 10-15 minutes, this will be good to put our next part of paint on. But for right now, we're just going to let it stay right there. Um, Trust me, be patient. There's a lot of ways you can do to speed up this process. I don't have any electricity out here, but if you did have electricity, you could use a fan, you could use a, a hair dryer to speed up the process, or some people like to use the fire technique. I don't really use that a whole lot because I found it's ruined my paintings more than it's actually helped it, and it's something you gotta train with. So since you're just a beginner, Let's just start with the basics. For right now, let's just let this dry, 
and we'll come back when it's dry and I'll show you the next step. Okay, so now we've given this time to dry and we can touch it and it's not smearing or sticky or anything so that's good. That's where we want it. So now we got to do the shading. Now with every painting, especially a pace, space painting, sorry, there is always going to be a light source somewhere. Even if it's not in your painting, that light source still exists somewhere. So you need to shade all your planets according to that. Now since this side of my painting is a little bit lighter than this side, I'm going to have my light source coming in from this angle. So I'm going to do black shading on this edge and a little bit of white shading on this edge. So let's get into that. I'm going to start with the black. Once again, shake up your can. Do a test spray. Okay. Now I'm going to start from this edge and I'm going to work my way up. And I'm going to go more layers on here and I'm going to go lighter as I get up here. This is going to give us a nice transition for our shadow where it's going from a light shadow into a dark shadow. This is where this cheap spray paint really comes in handy. I use this for every single space painting that I do because it makes such amazing shadows. So let's start with that. So we're going to start at the bottom here. Just like that. Then we're going to take our white and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to start off on the edge on the other side. Just like that. Okay, just like that. Now, I could put my stencil right on here, but I'm not going to do that. We're going to let this dry. And in fact, this is one of the most important steps you want to let dry. If I was to put this stencil on here right now, with this paint being wet, when the time came to remove this stencil, you would see a white line around my planet because the edge of this would touch that wet paint and then pull it up. And you don't want that. That doesn't look natural. So like I said before, if you want good painting, then let your painting sit and dry. So we're going to let this dry about another 10-15 minutes. We'll come back to it and we'll do the last few steps. Okay, so. We've let this dry now and we can touch it and it's not sticky or tacky or anything. So now we can now put on our stencil. And we just want to make sure we get a good capture of the white, the gray, and the dark. So I'm going to put it right back to where we were. Right there seems pretty good. Okay. Now. Now we're just going to fill in the rest of this with black. And if you have a stencil that's kind of lightweight and you're not sure if it's sitting very flat, you want that crisp line all the way around it. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to hold this down a little bit just to make sure that there's no mist or spray that's going to get underneath this stencil and I'm going to end up ruining my, my painting. So I'm going to hold this down a little bit just as I go off the edge and then it won't really matter after that.
so now we got that black. So before we add our stars, once again, we're going to let this dry again. <clears throat> we want to make sure that each layer is dry before we put on another layer. Some videos might tell you differently, but in my own experiences, doing stuff too quick, especially putting stars too quick on the wet black paint, uh, they have a tendency, especially when you're using this cheaper stuff, or if you put the black with, say, like a Rust-Oleum paint, two times coverage paint, that would really make it dark. Um, and then you were to put the cheap white stars on it, if you were to do that too soon, it would start to fade away, you would start to see the black through the stars, they would kind of bubble and just, it doesn't look good. So let this dry. This is going to be our last step, will be the stars. So we're just going to let this dry. Okay, so now we've given this a little bit of time to dry. It's now pretty dry to the touch. I'm not getting anything on my fingers. So that's good. Now there's two different ways you can do stars. The most common method, and the method that I usually do, is I'll spray a little bit on my fingers and when you do that once you spray onto your fingers always do this off to the side when you spray onto your fingers that first and you'll flip it onto the painting now if you're doing that you spray it onto your fingers and move it off to the side and that first flip you're gonna want to do that off to the side because that's gonna throw a big glob of paint that first time and you don't want big splatters of white paint because that's not stars, that's splatters. So there's that method, but I don't have any gloves today. So I'm not going to be doing that method. I'm going to show you the other method, which I also really like. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our white and we're going to flip it upright so that the cap where that sprays is going straight up into the air. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to barely push on this just enough to where it slowly starts to spurt out little spots and I'm going to let that fall onto my painting. Now before you go right over on your painting on this, do this off to the side so that you know that it's working before you go over to your painting with it and make sure it works. So I'm going to do that now and I don't know if you'll be able to see this because I've got the camera zoomed in here. Okay, now, okay, now let's do the starter. Start off to the side, make sure it's spraying good. And then go across it. Boom, there you go, there's your stars. Now, let's remove the stencil and see what we got. And there we go. There's our moon in space, and I think it looks beautiful. Now, the last thing we have to do, thing you should always do if you're doing your paintings, is an artist always signs his paintings. So I'm just going to take a little can of clear coat here, and I'm just going to spray a little bit on the corner because that paint is dry. So I'm going to spray this on so that it will make the paint loose again, and then I can scratch my name into it. kinds of things to sign your name. I often use this little palette knife, this little plastic palette knife. I don't really use it for much besides signing my name. But all right. Now it's signed. And I think that looks really good. I hope that helped all of you for getting started. Um, 
Please like and subscribe if you like this. If you got any good information out of this, please share it if you know anyone who might be interested in this. Uh, this is a very fun art style that I truly believe that anyone can do. Uh, if you just take these steps, you're patient, and you just, you know, let some time go by, at the end of the day, you're going to get a finished product that you're really going to be happy about. So, you know, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this. If you'd like to see more tutorials in the future, uh, put a comment down in that comment section. Let me know what you want to see, and maybe I can do that for you. Uh, with that, I'm Derek DeWolf. Thank you for coming down to Wolfman Art today. We'll see you next time.